But let's pick your story back up. So you, yep. you came back, you came home, and then the four yep. Fs, you, you started to yep. plan your own funeral, which I can... can a tumbling. You know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Far out. Planning a wedding would be hard, you know. Oh, <laughs> Let alone a funeral. Far out. Well, oh. What was interesting about that is I wanted it to be a, a celebration yeah, of my life. Of and I didn't want anybody mourning, you know, everything I'd done. <clears throat> was at my own hands, so I didn't want anybody going, oh, you know, this is terrible. It just is what it is. But I'd had a great life up until mm. then, and I wanted everybody to celebrate my life up until then. So I wanted my Bowie songs yeah, to be which played. Bowie songs? Bowie, oh. I named my dog after David Bowie. Oh, get out, really? Ziggy Stardog, his name is. <laughs> yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> Dead set, though. Bowie's my favourite musician. No, well, he, he was for many people, actually, and I cried for a week when he passed. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, I grew up with Bowie at the same age as him, you know. Mm. And uh, three David Bowie songs. So Gene Genie. You yeah. know, imagine the coffin coming into the church. Gene Genie. Yeah, know, awesome. Bom, 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 really yeah. high level. And, and good ha- good, good vibes. Celebration. Oh, yeah, but, but Sets that's the celebration it. That's time. it. That's yeah. it. Everybody hears Gene Genie. They're yeah. up and around <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, pumping. You know, you- my, um, one of my best friends' um, father's passed away way too young. Yeah. And um, he wanted a celebration too. And he was just a goof, goofball of a human. Yeah. And a lovely guy. And his um, coffin came out to... Um, Lagrange um, by Z. Um, uh, rah, 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 rah. Um, look, is it Lagrange? ZZ Top? ZZ Top, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ZZ Top. Go. So that, that's uh-huh, that. that, that uh-huh, yeah, okay. so, and everyone just started laughing because <laughs> that was just it. his his personality. You know? <laughs> but that's setting the tone for, yeah. come on, guys, this is what this is going to be about. So I wanted that with Gene Genie. And then halfway through, Rebel Rebel, mm-hmm. because I was a rebel in my youth. Mm-hmm. Um, I grew up uh, without a dad in my adolescent years and yep. went a little bit wayward so joined the military and they sorted me out which was yeah, a good yeah. thing and that was great from a business perspective because they taught me discipline and mm-hmm. respect so that was fantastic mm-hmm. and then on the way out heroes we can be heroes just yep. for one day i thought mm-hmm. yeah leave them crying they've had their good time <laughs> 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 but the other oh, thing shit. bill I, I made a list of the people who were wanted there but just as importantly the people who i didn't want there yeah you know because i didn't want to want people going oh poor old merv who really didn't know me or, or hated me in business or something like that and just turned up for whatever reason. So I don't know it was just a really humbling experience yeah, to sit be. down and and just say to the folks, you know, this is who I was and this is, is where I'm at. And what's interesting now, and I was speaking to someone only yesterday who does life stories of people in aged care facilities. So mm-hmm. the volunteers mm-hmm. um, of MND actually go along and they'll record just like this people's life stories. Yeah. And the people love just telling you know yeah. their life story and then they document it in a book and then publish it as a book so yeah that's great for motor yeah. neuron disease was it MND, MND yes, oh, yes I had a friend pass that as well it was the most yeah. horrible thing I've ever seen it, it's, it's a nasty thing and I was working mm. um, with someone who organised the volunteers just yesterday at another organisation um, who deals with people with acquired brain injuries mm. so um, mm. yeah there's some tough um, gigs out there 100% um, so that was it organised the finances so you know I'd made a lot of money so I had to get rid of it really really quickly and make sure that that was all secure so that mm-hmm. that was always given across and my wife to this day said it was the happiest day of her life giving all this money <laughs> <laughs> spend it do what you want with it <laughs> she would have been so, spewing three weeks later and she's like mate what's yeah, the, uh, right. <laughs> what are you doing here you keep waking up every day oh, this is not what we agreed to <laughs> and then just then just you know told family and friends this this is what it is and this is how it's played out. And um, these are the cards I've been dealt. And this is the way it's going to go. And that took about two days. I'm a businessman. I get things done. Yep. And then I sat down. I looked at my Jack Russell Terrier. And he just laughed at me. And I laughed at him. And we just laughed and laughed and laughed. And then he said to me, he said, let's go for a walk. I'm going, let's go for a walk. I've got nothing else to do. And so me and my dog became the best of friends. We were anyway. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. developed this really close relationship and we would just laugh together and we would walk endlessly. I was up in Upway in the mountain, in the um, uh, Dandenong Ranges there, and we'd walk up and down hills until mm-hmm. we were exhausted. But he loved it. He thought it was fantastic. And we'd just laugh and laugh and laugh. And then one day I said to my wife, get me some oysters. She said, you don't eat oysters. I said, I do now. I just had this craving for oysters and I'd just sit in the backyard and just eat 
oysters endlessly and throw mm. the shells up into the backyard. But one day someone will be doing some digging up there and they'll think <laughs> they've come across an ocean. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was just me throwing <laughs> the oysters up there. <laughs> so it was surreal. But I was eating oysters, which I found out recently are great for your blood. Everyone thinks of, you know, they're just an aphrodisiac, but mm. they're absolutely great for your blood. Right. So it made you think sense. your body was craving them? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So listen wow. to your body and just do what it tells you to mm. do, you know. So you've and never been a fan of oysters? No, not Whoa. at all. It's like a pregnancy when women have, you know, uh, <laughs> when they have um, you my know, daughter- cravings for the, the baby's like, hey, I need some fucking chocolate milk. But that's <laughs> it, you know. So my daughter's just had our um, fifth grandchild just a couple of weeks ago, and it was interesting watching her develop those cravings. Yeah. And I just said to her, listen to your body and do whatever your yeah, body yeah, tells you to do. It. So this is innate intelligence of body over mind, not mind over body. And my body was telling me through the dog, you know, laugh, walk, mm-hmm. and eat oysters. And I I just kept on feeling better and better and better and then when I got in touch with this doctor who just said to me what laughter was trying to do he said I want you to come back and meet with me every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock here is a recurring appointment I've still got the business card he said come back and meet me every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock until you get better mm-hmm. and I thought hang on somebody else thinks I'm going to make it here mm. now what that doctor had given me was hope and what the others had taken away was hope. Yeah. So it's really, really interesting. And when I'm working with people who are ill and our medical professionals, bless them, they do such a good job, outstanding job. they just got to be careful of the wording that they use because yeah. to take away hope from anyone, anytime, is saying it's over. 100%. And they'll often follow that and go, well, if they reckon it's over, it's over. So 